Hey what's up, this is Tech Brothers. Are you waiting for camera test of Qubit X18 Plus? Here it is. Today we will talk about the camera of new smartphone and show you real sample photos and videos. Also, you can find links to unboxing and performance test of Qubit X18 Plus in description under this video. Let's start with specifications. Qubit X18 Plus looks very good on paper. The smartphone has dual rear camera with 20 megapixel main sensor and 2 megapixel secondary sensor. Also, there is 13 megapixel front camera. The rear camera has f2.0 aperture, autofocus, and flashlight. The front camera provides fixed focus and 4P lens. The smartphone takes photos in maximum resolution 5184 by 1888 pixels and record video in Full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels. The camera app doesn't differ from stock Android. Here you can see shutter button and different modes above it, such as videos, photo, face beauty, blur, panorama, and even pro. The last mode offers different manual settings, such as ISO, exposure, flash, and others. In the upper right corner, you can click on the three dots to access the settings menu. As usual, here are options to change the resolution of photo and video, shutter sound, geotagging, and so on. Now let's see some sample photos. To be honest, I had big hopes of 20 megapixel camera. However, we have another budget smartphone with regular camera. Qubit X18 Plus makes decent photos in daylight conditions, as they are bright enough and clear. As I already said earlier, the secondary sensor on the back seems fake. The smartphone offers a circle with a focus, and the rest part of the photos is blurred. You can change the size of circle and the level of blur. You don't need a second sensor for this. It can be done with software. As for the photos indoors, they are not as clear as outdoors. The focus is a little lost, and you can see that images are a bit blurry. However, the color reproduction is still good. The front camera also makes a good selfies, but you should have good lighting conditions. At night, the smartphone has big problems. Autofocus doesn't work in low light conditions, so many photos are simply out of focus. Also, the images with street lights are overexposed. Although the colors are saturated, the camera is almost impossible to use at night because of lack of focus.
The video recording is pretty good. The video doesn't shake, the picture is clear and bright. There is no image stabilization, but the video is quite stable. Just like with photos, the video at night is very blurred. It is very unfocused and blurry. So I had a big hopes on camera of Cubit X18+. Plus. It comes with a very promising 20MP Dury camera and 30MP front camera. In practice, the camera is typical for most budget Chinese smartphones. As usual, it takes decent photos in daylight conditions, but at night the quality drops dramatically. I still believe that Xiaomi phones make the best photos in the category of budget devices. Thanks for watching. In the description under this video you can find link where to buy Cubit X18 Plus for $80. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.